outside Curry. Fires from deep. And he drains it. Let's get it. We got another game against the Brooklyn Nets. He is the NBA champion from last season. So <laughs> he's always the Nets. That's his home team. Always the Nets every season. So before I start this video off, I just want to say hopefully everyone had a happy Valentine's Day yesterday, February 14th. Hopefully you got some chocolates, and some flowers, all the goodies. <laughs> But yeah, man, like I said, hopefully everyone had a good Valentine's Day. Um, over the weekend, my internet wasn't working too well, so I wasn't able to upload. I know I already failed the challenge that I set out. But the goal of it was just to be more active on on YouTube anyways, which is what I'm doing. I'm uploading three to four videos a week, which is way more than what I used to do back in December and November. I used to do like once a month or things like that, but now I'm way more active. I'm replying to everybody. Um, so I think I'm doing way, way better than I used to be, and I just want to be more consistent with it. So the team that he drafted consists of Carl Anthony Towns, he has Jalen Brown, he has Karis LeVert, he has Eric Bledsoe, he has a great defensive team, they're very lengthy as well. So his game plan was to attack Steph Curry off the dribble in this first quarter. While Steph Curry was giving him business as well, step back here. That's the slow, slow step back right there. <laughs> so that was a pretty, uh, pretty nice move. Steph Curry ended up getting takeover. We bring the double team because it's posting up. I don't want that to happen. So I'm already gonna be looking for Steph Curry right here. I'm gonna step back a little bit, get a few feet behind the line, and he's gonna green that with takeover. So this first quarter was the dream quarter for Steph Curry. He was making his shots. He's been creating double teams, but him also, I didn't even call for that double team, but the CPU automatically double teamed right there. Hassan Whiteside was supposed to be at the three point line, but that was bad spacing. Harrison Barnes in a wide open three, and I miss. It's so hard to shoot with other players when you keep shooting with Curry, because Curry's shot is so smooth and it's very quick. So when you transition into shooting with somebody else, it's much difficult to do. I was trying to do a layup there, but 2K gave me that weird animation falling out of bounds and he capitalizes on the other end with a 3 point shot. So sometimes you get stuck into these weird animations that you don't want to do and it's very annoying. So my game plan with Steph Curry is on the bench, was to put Drew Holiday at my bench point guard and try to attack the rim as much as I can to keep the game close. Because to be honest, my bench is not too good. So I tried to use Sabonis and Drew on the bench. But to be honest, Sabonis isn't scoring too much, and Drew can score when he can, but it's still very hard to keep the game close with the bench, trust me. Because <laughs> I missed a lot of shots, Drew gets into paint here, nice screen by Sabonis. All we need to do is play great defense, Side Whiteside, Green's a midi here, I don't know how he did that. <laughs> I think Whiteside has like 60 something midi if I'm not mistaken, so I, I checked after the game. Nice play, back screen for Jalen Brown, he gets a 3 point shot to go. So I'm gonna find Curry, he helps out on white side, I pass it back and he gets fouled in the paint. So in this third quarter, he blew the lead open to a double digit game because we were missing shots. Steph Curry gets a nice highlight reel here, he's stumbling <laughs> and Curry gets the 3 point shot. So that was a big shot, it brings the lead back down to 9. But he makes a three-point shot and brings it back up to a double-digit game. But we're not going to be quitting. We're going to keep fighting and fighting. Try to cut into this lead heading into the fourth quarter. So Carl Anthony Towns is a beast in this game. I don't know what Steph Curry was doing here. He was reaching like a noob. I'm telling you, the AI defense on this game is very bad. They're doing things you don't want them to do. And it leaves their shooters wide open all the time. So he intercepted the pass, Drew Holiday steals it right back, gives it back to Whiteside in the paint. So I think this was his biggest lead, I think it was 16. But like I said, we don't give up, we're gonna keep fighting. Because there's still a cold quarter to play. 
He shoots his contested three, it misses. He gets the offensive rebound and put back right over Sabonis. And to end this third quarter, he poked the ball loose, but he still gets it back in time to shoot that corner three. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's crazy. So I'm down by 19 actually, I thought it was 16. Sabonis misses the easy layup. He has gold drop stepper. And PJ Tucker is 6'5 and Sabonis is like 6'11. I have no idea how he missed that. And Sabonis wasn't even tired. This was a fresh Sabonis off the bench. So that's why I don't like scoring in the paint in this game. Steph Curry with a pull up three in transition. And we cut the lead back to 11. We're gonna keep fighting again. Like I said, we're gonna have Curry coming off the screen. He goes for the steal. Pump fake, back to white side. And we get the dunk. So all we need to do is get a couple of stops. But Lavert takes advantage. He has Lavert off the bench. He always has a great bench. That's one of the keys why he keeps on winning. He has a great bench, so he always puts pressure on your defense. Steph Curry with a nice, nice crossover here to the layup. So the lead is down to seven. Drew Holiday snatches that. That was a beautiful steal. He has gold interceptor. I love Drew Holiday. Kick it back out to Steph. Pump fake. Back to Steph. Into the paint. Nice ball movement right there. Now it's only a five point game. But this play, I think it cost me the game. I turn it over. And he's going to end up getting a green three point shot in the corner. That was a big six point swing or a five point swing. Man, I did that play because Curry has gold Lob City passer and Hassan Weissa has gold Lob City finisher and usually that's a money alley-oop, but Hassan wasn't able to catch it there and it cost us the game. It could have been much closer. So Curry at 31, Drew Holiday contributed with 10, Whiteside with a double-double, but like I said, everyone else on the team wasn't able to contribute on the offensive end. Iguodala won for 4, Sabonis won for 5. Everyone else couldn't hit their threes. And his team had a balanced effort with Towns, Lavert, Wiggins, and Jalen Brown. We only shot 29% from three. He had 29 bench points. This is a tough game to lose, but overall, it was still a great game. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. Drop a like and a comment. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video and want to get flashed, please be sure to share and like this video. To stay updated, click subscribe and also follow GFlash on Twitter.